Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix mic delay in Studio One. Now, if you're trying to record vocals or you're trying to record anything, but it just seems like things are out of time, even though you're sure you're saying it in time, you're recording it in time, for some reason, when you play it back, it's not in time, this video is going to work wonders for you, okay? Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be but at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button and check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here now let's get straight into this shall we this shouldn't take too long but before we go further i do want to ask my question of the day my question of the day is what are you trying to record are you trying to record vocals are you trying to record an instrument if you're trying to record vocals, what kind of song are you trying to record? That'll be interesting as well. Now, let's get straight into this. Before you watch this video, you should probably watch my video on how to record your vocals in Studio One. That will give you a lot of information that will put you on the right path. You may be making some mistakes just setting up your recording process, which is causing you to have more issues. Now, this video is gonna teach you exactly how to fix your mic delay issues and what's actually going on there okay now first thing you want to do is go to studio one go to options and go to audio setup now here is where the most important stuff is going to be going down first of all we have our audio device now i have selected fl studio because this is the audio device that allows me to record studio one and record my screen at the same time and the audio that i'm recording from studio one comes through my screen recorder basically but when i'm actually recording songs i use the studio usb audio device because that is the actual audio device that i'm using i'm using a studio Studio 24C from Personas, but they don't have that here. So I'll just use the Studio USB. I used to use the audio box because that was the one that I used to use. Now, this is super important. Pick whatever audio box you're using. If it doesn't show up here, then you can, well, it should show up here to be honest. But if it doesn't show up here, you can use ACO for all and if you've got FL Studio and you've been using that, you can use the FL Studio version as well because that generally works pretty fine. But it's better to use your actual audio device that in this situation because then you're gonna have more parameters and it's just gonna work a little bit better. So next thing you need to do is you need to change the sample size, okay? Now, how if your sample size is large like this this is generally what sample size you want to be on when you're mixing you want your sample size to be as large as possible when you're mixing because the lower you go with your sample size the more glitches you will have when you're recording but the lower your sample size the more in time and out of delay your recording will be now when i'm using my studio usb when I tried to change my audio device to Studio USB while recording, it completely shut off my mic for my recording and kind of messed that up. So I'm not gonna do that again. Basically, when I go to Studio USB, I have more options. I can get my sample size even lower than 256. I can get it to, I think I can get it to 64. But depending on the audio device you're using, you're gonna have different options here as well. Rarely at your recording stage, you want your samples to be one, two, eight. That's probably the best middle ground in terms of you're not getting too many artifacts. It's not glitching too much, but you also have very, very low latency. So you're not gonna have a lot of delay. So for this example, we're gonna go to 256 because that's as low as we can go on this FL Studio audio device. And we're just gonna click okay. And when we actually record something, you'll hear that it's pretty much in time. So we're gonna come to about this part of the beat. We're gonna turn on pre-roll and let's just head back. As you can hear, there's a little bit of a, de a delay there, but not that much of a delay, okay? Enough of a delay that I wouldn't want to record with my mic audio on, which I've got a video on that as well. Check it out on the channel, how to record 
in Studio One without hearing yourself, something like that. But let's just quickly play this back and get some. Ah, uh, yeah. This is a test. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, yeah. Ha, ha. This is a test. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you gonna say? One, two, three, four. Ha, 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 ha. This ain't out of time, no. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This ain't out of time, no. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Also, the tempo down here is out of time. Really, before you start a track, you should have the tempo, the same tempo as your beat. But this will not affect our mic delay, so that really doesn't matter. This is just a, a test session, basically. So let's play this back and hear if everything's in time, okay? All right, so I had my speakers on while recording this, so I don't know what that's going to change, but the beat was coming out of the speakers, so that's really going to mess things up. But everything should be in time so what the hell let's listen back uh, yeah this is a test one two three four uh, yeah ha, ha. this is a test one two three four uh, yeah 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 what are you gonna say one two three four ha, 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 ha. this ain't out of time no yeah mm. yeah this ain't out of time no All right, so obviously rapping BS, <laughs> but you can see that it's not out of time. Now, if we was to go back to these options and I was to bump up these samples to around two grand, which is generally where you want to be when you're mixing stuff back, you'll see this will be out of time. This is a test one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a test that uh, ah, uh, probably late. Yeah, yeah, probably in delay. Yeah, forgot that word, <laughs> forgot it. But that doesn't really matter because this ain't a real song. No, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. This ain't a real song. No, ain't a real song. Mm. All right, so let's hear this back without the speakers in the background this time. This is a test one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a test that uh, uh, i probably late. Yeah, yeah, probably in delay. Yeah, forgot that word. <laughs> forgot it. But that doesn't really matter because this ain't a real song. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, that didn't really sound out of time either. Now, Studio One does have a feature in which it automatically lowers your samples when it's recording and when it's recording vocals and whatnot, when you're recording with a mic, it automatically lowers stuff so things aren't delayed. But I've had issues in the past where I have had this FL Studio thing on and my samples have been high and it hasn't automatically lowered it. So I'm unsure if that's because I was using the FL Studio audio device because when I use my Studio USB audio device, it always automatically lowers it and I never get any delay. But as you just heard there, it didn't really sound out of time. Although if I was to listen to it really, really with, you know, my hater res turned on <laughs> and basically, zoom in and check if everything was in time it might just be a little bit off although i've just shown you how to get around that problem if you do find that your vocals have been delayed all you need to do really is make sure you're using a good audio device like either the audio device that matches up with your pre what are these things called i think they're just called audio devices these days Either it matches up with your audio device, the thing that you're plugging your mic into, or it's ACO for all, or FL Studio if you use FL Studio and you've got that device installed in your computer, okay? Then just make sure that your samples are as low as possible if you find yourself having a bunch of delay issues. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, when I just tried to show you some delay issues, Studio One was like, no, no delay over here, cuz. So that's just gotta be that. But that's how you fix it. And 
I hope this video has helped you out and given you some insight into how you fix this problem if it ever occurs for you. Hopefully it never does because Studio One seems to be pretty nice when it comes to getting rid of delay and lowering samples automatically, but sometimes it doesn't work out, okay? Now, as you just heard, my vocals sound pretty clean, right? They sound Spotify ready, basically. All they need is better lyrics. <laughs> but they sound clean, they're all set up correctly. And that's thanks to my Spotify Ready Studio One template, okay? Now, this Studio One Spotify Ready vocal template is available for you. The link is in the description down below. You can go and check that out and grab it for yourself so that when you jump into your project, your song, and you load up this template, all you really need to do is change some levels, have some good lyrics and change the, the auto tune key, of course, and you're pretty much good to go. You don't really have to do much. You don't have to add all these different EQs and all that sort of stuff. You can just use the same EQs that I've used. And if you don't have the same plugins that I use, no problem. It also comes with a PDF where I walk through all my settings so you can use your own personal plugins. For example, if you don't have Neutron 3, you don't want to use that EQ. You can just use the built-in EQ or you can use the EQ that you use on a regular basis, okay? You can use the reverb you use on a regular basis, the compressor you use on a regular basis, all that sort of stuff. Although I do advise you to get the same waves compressors and rvox and all that sort of stuff to get that same sort of sound but you can use that pdf to basically get the right settings on your audio on your vocals so that your vocals can sound as clean as possible remember link is in the description or go to jcarteray.com forward slash vocal templates and you'll have your vocals half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage saving you a bunch of time so i hope to hear the songs that you make using that template very soon and if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make just leave those in the comment section down below and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing peace out